The mission of Providence is to serve our communities in the best way we can with special consideration for the poor and vulnerable. To do that, we need to have a campus that can accommodate everybody in our community. You can think of the need for the tower in maybe three groupings. One is right now, we don't have enough clinical space to serve our current volumes. The second need is building for growth. The third piece is we've got to match the quality of our facilities to the quality of our talent. We have some of the best caregivers in the country right now. Providence Regional is one of the finest hospitals in this country. But what we've lacked is the manifestation of that greatness. The tower is going to be a manifestation of the greatness that we already are. What it will offer patients, practicing physicians, staff, far exceeds anything I could have envisioned when I came here in 1973. Well, the community has grown dramatically, so we've simply outgrown uh, the capability of handling both the number and the level of care that's needed in the area. And this new facility will let us do that. We have the state's busiest emergency department right now. In our current ER, we have so few rooms that we have to put patients routinely in hallways. And despite that, they, do, they provide great care in the ER. When we open up the new ED, we'll have 79 private rooms in the emergency department. That has the capacity to serve about 140,000 visits. So all of the rooms will be private and there'll be enough space for family to be in the ER rooms with them. One of the things that I'm really excited about this ER is that right now when patients need to have imaging we have to transport people to a whole different department so that's a lot of moving people back and forth and that's hard on patients it's hard on families. In the new ER we'll have CAT scans and x-ray equipment in the emergency department so people won't ever have to leave it for routine imaging. Our diagnostic imaging area in the, in the new tower will be oc actually occupying the majority of the main floor. Um, so it's built and designed to be there to be very user friendly. Well, so much of our, our imaging areas are not consolidated now. This is going to bring it all together in one space. Diagnostic imaging will have just absolutely some of the national state-of-the-art equipment that you'll find in any diagnostic imaging center around. Surgery is going to occupy portions of two floors, actually, in, in the new tower. We've designed those, the surgery area itself, the operating rooms, to be extremely large rooms so that we can accommodate all the future technology that surgery is going to bring. What's really unique about this hospital design is that if the needs change 10 years from now, it's easy to change these rooms over. So if, for example, scalpels go away and all surgery is being done by microscopic catheters. We can change out those rooms to meet that kind of technological requirement. And we're going to have that advantage to have the most up-to-date, the most sophisticated, the most contemporary workshop for surgical services around. We will be able to open this new tower with about a hundred more patient rooms than we have right now. And almost every one of those rooms in the tower is going to be a private room. The patient and family rooms up on the top six floors are really built and designed as healing spaces. We know that environment affects healing. We know that environment affects the staff and the physicians, but mostly it affects healing. Each room is designed so that a portion of the room is really set aside for families to be able to set themselves there and they won't be visitors anymore. They'll be participants in the care like really families should be. There's pride in a community that has a very modern hospital. This is not just for Everett. This is a community resource, this tower. And it's going to be a regional center for the entire northern Puget Sound. It's still hard for me to grasp the enormity of this project. It's certainly the biggest project that the Sisters of Providence have ever had anywhere in their system. It's a very important one, and I think it's one that needs all of our support. 
I think it's very important that the community be aware of what's happening and be willing to roll up their sleeves and participate in this. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's a wonderful, wonderful chance to change the way healthcare is delivered for the county, for Everett, but also as a regional referral center. The doctors and the staff at this hospital have created a true island of excellence that is getting recognition from around the United States. We have some of the best talent in the country. We're winning more national awards than any hospital in the state, bar none. And we've got to match the facilities, their workshop, to the talent that they're bringing right now. We owe that to them, and most importantly, we owe that to our patients and to our community. I think the patient is the real winner. I think that patients will find that they're able to obtain state-of-the-art care here. They won't have to make the drive to Seattle. Providence Regional Medical Center Everett has been around for a little bit more than 100 years. What we're building is for the next century. That's kind of a special thing to be able to say.